Stop! Good. Stop! Good. Stop! Good. Stop! Nice. My name is Sammy Yen, and I'm an artist, designer, and self-defense instructor based out of New York City. Stop! Good. Excellent. Okay. I got started in teaching self-defense and becoming more active in the community with the rise of anti-Asian hate. I have two kids and they go to school. We were used to take the yellow bus to school and that was fine. We took the bus and we were perfectly safe. But once we started to take the subway, we were kind of afraid of um, being attacked and having kind of any altercation. And I remember being more afraid of having to get into a fight than actually catching COVID. So um, I had to tell the kids like what our plan would be in case, you know, uh, an incident would happen. <laughs> I just really made it a point where they really had to um, think about their own safety. And then, you know, they start to break down and cry and they didn't understand what was happening. So that, that really motivated me to get involved. Woo! Can you raise your hand if you took the class before? Okay, great. I remember the first class only had like a few people and it kind of eventually grew and it grew and it became bigger in January. We got grants from uh, Asian American Federation and Asian Americans for Equality and AMFIS. And we were able to teach all over New York City from Flushing all the way to Washington Heights. And one of the important things I think about the way we set up our classes, we were able to go to the community. We were able to go to different people in different areas. Six. The people who come to my classes, I think, want to be more, feel more safe and uh, more free to go out about uh, their normal lives. One, good. After class, sometimes people will approach me and tell me their stories of when they've been attacked and how they dealt with the situation. And oftentimes they have done the right thing. They've been able to avoid the attack and be able to move away, but they're still very traumatized by what happened. When I started my work, it was the AAPI community. I wanted to take a two-pronged approach. One, I wanted to give something practical, which was the self-defense classes to help people get home safely. And secondly, I wanted um, to help people share their stories about their community, about um, any how they came up and you know try to integrate empathy um, through art. So I wanted to use my art as a way to communicate and within the community and build community. This is my gallery show called Drawn Together at the Pearl River Mart and it's 25 pieces of landmarks in Chinatown and local businesses and it's about renewal, it's about um, resilience and kind of coming out of COVID. One of my goals for this um, gallery show is to bring people together and to have collaboration with uh, the community, to meet different artists, to meet different restaurant owners, and come up with different ideas for stories to be told in the future. This picture is of Chatham Square. This is where my father first immigrated to America in 1968, November 2nd. Um, he was working on an ocean liner, and when it docked on, in New York City, he just got off. When he was in Hong Kong, um, he learned Tai Chi, and he passed that on to me as a young boy. And that kind of started my love for martial arts. And I was able to pass on uh, his knowledge to people around him. And another thing about you know, being able to give back to the community in, the way, in that way is a lot of um, people of his generation made so many sacrifices for people of my generation. So it's nice to be able to serve the seniors, you know, my, the people that came before me, to give back to them. As big cities see an increase in violent crime across the country, more businesses are doing something about it. We'll show you whether growing reliance on private security is helping and what a decreased reliance on local law enforcement means for the future. Next on The Race.